What went we out into this wilderness to find? Leaving our country, kindred, our father's houses. For what? For the kingdom of God. Let us pray. this family. that all this witch stuff in Salem, etc. was made up and just a way to control women and get rid of your enemies. But if this kind of stuff was going down, I can see why a mass panic ensued. Uh, of course, I think this is just playing into the mythology, of course, uh, but we haven't really quite seen a take on the Salem witch trials, uh, you know, that's so ultra realistic, I guess you could say, uh, which I actually really appreciate about this movie. It's funny, I just got finished reviewing Carol, uh, which is a 1950s lesbian love story, which does a really good job of portraying that time period. And I, of course, referenced The Nick on Cinemax from Steven Soderbergh, a TV show which perfectly captures the 1900s. And lo and behold, we're going back even further in time uh, to portray the settlers and what I think is a pretty Im impressively realistic fashion. My favorite shot, actually, in the entire trailer, I'm not a big horror fan, so of course I'm more excited about the historical aspects of the movie than the scary parts. Uh, but I really like that opening shot when they were, you know, on that cart going out of town and you saw like those uh, Native Americans walk into frame. So I really thought that was fantastic. I liked that it referenced that, you know, before there were a lot of problems about who owns what, uh, we got along a lot uh, with the natives and that's how Thanksgiving, for instance, started. You know, we were all having a great time breaking bread together, but then of course it all went south as things seem to go in this movie. Now I'm very impressed with the trailer. I'm very impressed with all the quotes they were able to uh, muster up and, and throw into the trailer as well, being like, this is amazing. But you know, I've fallen for this a lot lately. It Follows had the same kind of ad campaign, uh, although that was very well directed. However, I think It Follows is an excellent example of a film that can be very well directed and quite cinematic, but it's still not particularly entertaining or rewarding to watch once you've finished it. You know, that film, you know, was just more of an idea than a fully fledged film. Uh, and also Maggie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That looked very promising from the trailer and had a lot of buzz. But at the end of the day, there really wasn't anything there. So I get worried, you know, it's like talk about, you know, being lured into the woods by the promise of something awesome and meeting a horrifying end. You know, that's kind of how I feel walking up to the ticket booth with these films. Or, when because a lot of them end up streaming, uh, you know, agreeing to purchase it online. But I guess that's cheaper, so it's a little less of a risk. Uh, but so that's I think my biggest concern with this film that we might be seeing the best parts of it and that's the stylish aspects and maybe this is a great 
you know, calling card for the talent involved, particularly the, particularly the director. Uh, but will it be something that we enjoy watching? Uh, that, I think, all depends on whether or not there's actually some big reveals here and some actually uh, sc uh, genuinely scary sequences. You know, instead of it just being all stylish and, uh, you know, the director, you know, at the end of the day, shrugging their shoulders, being like, mm, I didn't have an ending, but, oh, didn't you enjoy the journey? And it's like, you know, the journey's important, but so is the destination, because then why else would I take the journey, right? So I'm curious, what do you guys think? What do you think of the current... I do appreciate the current highbrow trend in horror, uh, but what do you think of also this trend that we're seeing, not just in horror, but also action movies, American Ultra, which I just reviewed yesterday, and also Fantastic Four, where they're not fully formed films? Uh, did you, does that frustrate you? Or I know some people, uh, some moviegoers, like open-ended films and they like filling in the blanks themselves. So uh, if you're that type of moviegoer, you might find this stuff very rewarding. So what do you think? Does this look like something you would want to watch? And what do you think of It Follows? And also Maggie, uh, what do you think of this trend in horror? Uh, I like the highbrow aspects of it, and I like the ultra-realistic take on different periods in time, but that's the only takeaways I have right now. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into my uh, review. Thank you everyone who requested a review of this trailer, and I look forward to continuing the conversation with you down below. And you can check out some other episodes right now.